my channel. Today I have a yearly 2022 message for all of the Cancers out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Cancer out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I'm a psychic intuitive and spiritual coach, and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every other week right here on this channel. Let's get into your message, Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see, I have already drawn out 12 cards. And what I want you to know is that each one of these cards represents the month. So this is going to be a 2022 monthly overview of the year 2022 for you. So let's get started. So January, we have the Ace of Wands for you here, Cancer. So this is good. This means it's a new beginning with new inspirations, probably a new job, new passions, a new adventure, a new journey. Um, this is really good. What I love about the wand energy is that it's about inspired action. And I really feel that the month of January is going to do just that. It's going to inspire you to sort of turn a new leaf. It's going to inspire you to um, bring about newer passions, newer desires, um, whether that's in a new career, whether that's traveling, whatever it might be. Um, it's sort of like moving you towards a new beginning and a new journey. Moving on to February, we have the Six of Pentacles. So February for you is really going to be about um, the energy that you give. So it's really about really focusing in and honing in on where you are distributing your energy. Um, what I love about the Six of Pentacles is that it also speaks about inheritance and money. And it also speaks about um, where you're divvying, divvying up your expenses. What I really want you to focus on here, Cancer, is that don't look at this so much as expenses as as well. Um, don't look at it solely as expenses, even though it is a pentacles. You really want to look at it as the energy giving and energy receiving. So it's really about a balance. You want to make sure that you really um, balance out where you are expending your energy for the month of February. Uh, you want to make sure that it's even and that it's balanced and you want to make sure that where you are, where you're putting in your energy, that you're also getting that energy in uh, return, that it's being reciprocal. Okay. So for the month of March, we have the 10 of swords. Okay. So the month of March is really going to be about um, any challenges that you have faced in regards to being lied to, backstabbed, being rejected, abandoned, um, all of that is going to be coming to an end. So what I also want to point out is also recognize that it isn't so much as other people doing this to you, Cancer, as it is to you doing it to yourself. Swords really speaks about um, our mental thoughts. And it also speaks about the things that we do to sabotage ourselves. So really focus in on the month of March of how are you sabotaging yourself? How are you abandoning yourself? How are you rejecting yourself? Um, I really feel that this is the month where you're really going to sort of work on that um, because it is something that is coming to an end. Almost where you're putting all of that in the past behind you because if you'll notice on this card, there is a new horizon coming up. And so what's dead, done and over with, um, you need to allow it to just be that and allow a new day to be born. OK, so now we're moving on to April and we have the four of cups. Now, this is really good energy because what this is saying is that the four of cups is really about you taking time to really sit and meditate and contemplate. Uh, really focus in on the amount of energy and how you see things and how you perceive things. The Four of Cups really speaks about um, all of the things that have that you have fulfilled. So down here on this card, you'll notice there are three cups down here at the bottom. And sort of what's going on here is you'll notice that right over here, there is a cloud with a cup that is being presented towards this person that's sitting underneath a tree. 
this is a gift from the universe. And I really feel that in the month of April here, Cancer, you will be presented with a gift from the universe. But what's going to transpire is that you're going to not recognize it as a gift. Um, don't look at it so much as um, a gift. Look at it as an opportunity. This is an opportunity for you to grow, which is why being in a meditative state will be helpful for you. I think a lot of times when we are presented with things, we often look at it from the perspective of how is this going to benefit me? And I think that what you really need to recognize is that everything that we encounter, everything that we experience is an opportunity of growth for us. So for the month of April, don't look at it as how is this going to benefit me? Look at this from this is going to help me grow, okay? All right, moving on to the month of May, we have the Page of Wands. Now, this is really, really, really good energy. A Page of Wands really uh, is about um, starting on a new adventure and a new journey. And I really feel that this is about like maybe a new career. Maybe you become passionate, you know, you're starting off the year in an Ace of Wands energy, which is a new beginning, right? So maybe it's about you turning over a new leaf. Maybe you become so passionate about something that you decide to try your hand at taking that path, right? Walking that path. A page is very um, young energy. It's almost being like um, an intern in some sort, right? Where you, you're you not very familiar with this new adventure or this new journey that you're going on, but you're willing to learn and to experience experience it. And I feel that's something that you really should um, be very mindful of, especially in um, the month of May. Moving on to the month of June, we have the sun card. Now this is beautiful, okay? Because what this is really showing me is that you are willing to cross barriers to grow and seek out happiness. What I really want to point out here is what I really recognized is that you're starting off at the Ace of Wands, which is um, this new beginning, right? Um, and this new beginning is really moving you in towards the energy of really focusing on how you're expending, how, how you're extending your energy or how you are spending your energy, right? Recognizing that if you're if you're spending your energy on things that are dead, done, and over with, and you're allowing your own mental um, sabotaging to take control, then you are not going to be fulfilled with whatever opportunity presents itself, right? And you want to take this new adventure. You want this new passionate beginning. Um, and the sun is basically telling you that this new adventure is really what's going to bring you towards your happiness. It's recognizing that we all we all have opportunities presented to us where we can overcome any barriers or obstacles or challenges that we face, but we have to be willing to pursue them, right? We have to be willing to take the initiation and the steps forward. Moving on to the month of July, we have the 10 of wands in reverse. Now, this 10 of wands is underneath the 10 of swords. So you have 10, 10, okay? And when you take 10, 10, you re it reduces down to um, an 11, which is a two. Now, an 11 to me speaks about an awakening, right? You coming to the realization that something isn't working anymore, right? The 10 of wands really speaks about the burdens and the responsibilities that we often put on upon ourselves. But I really feel that when you have an upside down 10 of, 10 of wands, it's really about you... Um, not really willing to step out of your own way, per se. A two is really about balancing. It's about recognizing that you have to make a choice, right? But you have to also understand that we are always given a choice. We live our life based off of choice. We can choose to stay where we are, or we can choose to move in a different direction here, Cancer. Um, and I really want to point that out, that with this Ten of Wands, it's really asking you to let go of your burdens. The burdens that you think that you are facing are only in your head. They're, they do not truly, truly exist. You're the only one that's making them feel like they're real. And this is why I feel like you're preventing yourself from 
releasing those burdens. Not everything is your responsibility. Understand that, you know, someone else's happiness, someone else's success is not your responsibility. They're in charge of their own life, their own responsibility. You are only in charge of your own. Moving on to the month of August, we have the King of Swords. Okay, beautiful. We're now leaving this Ten of Wands behind. The Ten of Wands really speaks about releasing the burdens and surrendering, right? Like releasing it to the ethers and allowing um, yourself to just cross that finish line. The King of Swords is someone that can actually rise above any given situation and can see things from an observer perspective, right? So he, he gets an eagle eye view from everything above and allows himself to see the bigger picture here. And I feel that in the month of August, that's really what spirit is wanting you to do here. It's wanting you to get that eagle eye view, see things from the bigger picture and make your choices based off of your intuition and your intellect. You know, every, every experience that you have ever gone through has taught you something. You've learned something from every experience. And having learned that, you will have that knowledge. You know, there was something in your mind, in your brain, that's going to come to the surface and remind you, this feels very similar. This feels familiar. Where have I learned this before, right? Um... The King of Swords does not allow anything outside of his own um, expertise and wisdom and intuition to sway him. He doesn't allow his emotions to get in the way either, okay? So I want you to know that. I want you to know that here in the month of August... You really need to, okay, here, here, here's what I'm seeing. This King of Swords is wanting you to rise to the occasion. It's wanting you to recognize that you are your own burden and you are your own savior. I've never used that reference before with the King of Swords, but this is, this is what they're wanting me to tell you, Cancer. You are your own savior and you are your own burden. How you choose to wield your sword determines where you end up. Okay. Now, moving on to the month of September, we have the nine of wands. Now, this represents your own limited perceptions, right? This really talks about everything that you've worked so hard for. Um, everything that you've put into all of your projects, your work, everything that you've worked so hard for, um, you have strived to get it to where it is, right? But notice how this person sort of looks like he's sort of boxed himself in, right? You have to get out of your own way. You have to get out of this box that you've put yourself in. You know, you can only go as far as your mind allows you to go. And what I want to point out here is that in this whole row, you have nothing but wands, which really tells me that what, what really needs to transpire here is you need to take action in your life. If you're wanting to see different results, if you're wanting to have a different experience, you have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone, get out of the box that you've put yourself in and take a step toward a new adventure. You're being presented with a new opportunity here, but you have to be willing to let bygones be bygones and take that first, first step. Moving on to the month of October, we have the Queen of Cups. This is beautiful, right? The Queen of Cups really speaks about... Um, Everything that we are absolutely passionate about, everything that brings us joy, that we nurture within ourselves and listening into our to intuition really helps fill our own cup. The one thing that we need to learn to be aware of here, Cancer, is that our cup is our responsibility. It is not anyone else's responsibility to fill our cup, to make us feel fulfilled, to make us feel worthy, to make us feel important. It, that is our responsibility. We are in charge of doing that. And 
you know, I, I want to point out how look at this. This queen here is looking at this cup. She's looking at this cup because she's recognized that she's put in a lot of work into herself, right? She's overcome barriers and obstacles to seek her own happiness. And she's put forth a lot of effort and energy into herself, right? And this is you admiring all of your work. Um, and I feel that in the month of October here, you're going to recognize that. You're going to see your worth and you're going to see your value. And you're going to recognize that you're not going to let anyone... Um, overstep that bound and you're not going to allow other people to manipulate you emotionally and I love that moving on to the month of November we have the knight of swords okay so in November what I really feel is that um, you're going to have someone um, rushing in to bring some truth and some clarity I really feel that whatever transpires, really listen to the truth. See things for what they are. No matter how chaotic the energy might be and no matter how it is delivered, see it for what it is. Don't allow um, your insecurities um, or your self-sabotage to take over and manipulate your way of thinking, okay? Remember, swords are about the things that we think and how we communicate, okay? So, and also keep in mind that if someone comes at you, like really comes at you, recognize that it has nothing to do with you and absolutely everything to do with them, okay? You want to be able to communicate effectively and efficiently, you don't want to come at people from a place of an emotional instability. Okay, Cancer? All right. And last but not least, in the month of December, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, this is beautiful. I feel that what this really represents is that you are going to have many choices to choose from, many different paths to take. Understand first and foremost that it does not matter. There is no right path and there is no wrong path. There is merely choice. Whatever path you choose is the path you are meant to be on. I cannot stress that enough. I think a lot of times as a spiritual coach, I have a lot of individuals who often ask me, am I on the right path? I just want to tell you right now that if you're even asking that question, know that you are on the right path because someone who is not on the right path doesn't give a rat's ask if they're on the right path or not. They're just doing life, right? So I feel that where you start out at the beginning of the year, you're starting out with this new inspired desire to change your life circumstances. You're wanting to see things differently. You're not wanting to experience things the way that you've always experienced them. And I feel that overall, what spirit is really trying to tell you is that you can overcome every single burden and every single challenge as long as you get out of your own way, as long as you can surrender, as long as you can release your own limiting beliefs and your own um, and communicate with yourself effectively and efficiently you're going to be presented with multiple choices at the end of the year that will allow you to take this path of immense experiences, okay? All right, so I'm going to draw an additional card to get an overview perspective for you here, um, Cancer, to just kind of get an overview of what the year 2022 is going to, is going to look like and feel like for you, okay? So angels, archangels, guides, ascendant, masters, oh, okay, it just popped right out. Mending. I love this. This truly, truly, truly matches everything that we just talked about here. This really is about you mending. And I feel this is about you um, letting go. You have two tens here, right? So this is really about letting go, letting bygones be bygones, letting the things that no longer serve you um, mending is really about stitching the pieces back together so that you can completely heal from the inside out. Um, it's really about taking time for you, really allowing yourself to be whole and complete just the way that you are, right? Like recognizing that you don't need anyone outside of that to make you whole and complete. You're whole and complete with just yourself. As long as you take the time to put in the right amount of effort to fulfill your own cup. 
So Cancer, this is your message. I hope that you were able to gain lots of clarity and insight here. I thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Namaste guys. Thank you.